Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at some takeoff drills specifically for the long jump, although they can be adapted for the triple jump. You're going to see a mixture of drills in this video, some that I've used for many years and others that I've more recently come across when attending the European Jumps and Sprint Symposium in Sweden. So you can see us here putting into practice some of the drills, the hop, 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 then transition through into penultimate step and takeoff. It doesn't really matter how many hops you do, and you can see that our athletes are beginning to learn them and developing the rhythm. Try not to lower too much in the transition into the jump, but make the steps quick. So here's the drill in slow motion. Keep the thigh up, drive it down, take a step, and then move up into the takeoff, elevating the shoulders as you do so, which I'll say more about later on in the video. Now we're also combining the drill with the elevated arm action, although this is a slightly different variant where there's a marching and then the takeoff. The idea behind the elevated arm action is to increase the vertical velocity and height gained off of the board at takeoff. So the objective is to lift the arms after the normal takeoff position, and this will generate a greater reaction back through the body and lift. You should be able to see the elevated arm action in the freeze frame. We're now going to take a look at more dynamic takeoff drill options. So here's Sarah and then Lucy performing one of the drills where you take off, land on the free leg, but elevate the arms and then rotate the back arm up overhead. So to me, this drill is achieving the ideal movement for the long jump takeoff, whereby not only are you going forwards, but you're gaining elevation, but not trying deliberately to jump for height. Rather, the arm action is elevating the body and creating greater vertical velocity on takeoff. So now you can see Sarah putting into practice this new elevated arm action. And even with the added disruption of the takeoff with the mat on the penultimate step, you can see the elevation of the shoulders and the arms and the rotation and the lifting of the torso and body. There are numerous other takeoff drills which I'll go through in another video, but here's one that actually works more on the setup of the takeoff and the quick movement between the penultimate step and into the takeoff. And this is another one that we've been practicing and we've been developing since my return from Sweden. There's a lot to getting an optimum takeoff with the long jump, and it's not just about what happens on the takeoff stride, but in the preceding steps. So here's Paul doing the penultimate step drill where he's moving quickly between the penultimate and the takeoff. And now he's putting this into practice with a takeoff as well and elevated arm action. So we're trying to develop the necessary awareness on the part of the athlete to apply the correct step principles into the takeoff and then the correct movements at takeoff in order to maximize their takeoff. carried away a little bit and I ended up producing this, which is the Jumper magazine. Many of you have asked me about my training philosophy and whether I'd write anything down regarding that and also perhaps share some of my thoughts on other subject matter pertaining to the long and triple jump and sprints. I produced a magazine, a digital magazine format Located within the document are also some videos that illustrate some of the topics that I've been writing about. To get a hold of this, all you need to do is go to the link in the description of this video and click on it and it will download as a web document initially onto your iPad, tablet, phone, computer, but you're also able to download it as a PDF and the links will still work. Potentially I'll do another Jumper magazine 
when I've got the time and it will be good to have your support so we can really grow it into a great resource for the jumps community. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competition and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media.